I'm sure anybody that's been shooting for any length of time has come to a similar situation where you've put all this effort into making your gun more accurate, whether it's custom barrels or any number of internal parts to make the gun more accurate, and you take it out to the range and you might get a good group, and then you shoot at another target and suddenly the group seems to be wandering or the zero doesn't seem to be exactly where it was. And it can be very frustrating because you may have put a lot of money into your gun, but you just can't seem to get repeatable results. So what we're gonna look at today is another source of this sort of accuracy problems, which comes from telescopic sights and dealing with the thing that we call parallax. Now, parallax is a common issue that you'll encounter, especially when you're dealing with cheaper rifle scopes that do not have an adjustable focal plane on it. This particular one that we're looking here has a few components on it. You have your turrets, which are for adjusting your elevation and your windage or your up and down and left and right. This is a variable power scope, so you're able to zoom in on your target. And the other component is the diopter, which allows you to focus, but this is only for focusing on the reticle. So when you look through the scope, you want to adjust this until the reticle is sharp. But as far as the focal length of the scope being focused on a particular distance to a target, this is set at a fixed length. So if your target happens to be at that particular distance, then you're not going to encounter any kind of parallax problems. But if the target is either closer or further away, depending on your relationship of your eye to the reticle or to the, uh, to the diopter, the reticle may actually move in relationship to the target, which it's nearly impossible to get any kind of measurable accuracy with those kind of problems. So I think it's important to mention before we get too far along, if you're dealing with one of these cheaper rifle scopes that does not have an adjustable focus on it, that you're pretty much going to be stuck with whatever parallax problems you're dealing with. In order to be able to eliminate parallax, you need to have the ability to focus the scope depending on the distance to the target. And scopes with an adjustable parallax or an adjustable objective will have a focusing ring in one of two places. This particular one has the focusing ring on the front of the scope, and it generally will have the distance to the target marked out on the ring. Um, you also can have a side focus mount, which is located on the side of the scope. More common for usually more expensive scopes generally have the side focus on it, but that's not an absolute. It could be in either place. So first of all, if you're going to be eliminating the parallax problem, you need to make sure that you have the right kind of scope in order to do that. So what we're gonna do is walk you through how to properly set up your scope to eliminate any kind of parallax problems. The first thing we're gonna do is adjust the diopter, which is the rearward most ring closest to your eye. This adjusts the focus of the reticle. Now we're not worried about the target, we're just worried about the crosshairs or the reticle. So you're gonna to wanna to look through the scope at a blank background, whether it's a white wall or the sky or something nondescript. You wanna be focusing specifically on looking at the reticle and not something beyond that. So you wanna look through the tube and look away and make a small adjustment to the diopter and then look back again and see if it gets clearer or fuzzier. If it gets fuzzier, turn it a little bit more until you finally get the reticle in perfect focus. You don't wanna be doing this while you're constantly looking through it. You wanna look away, make an adjustment, look through it again, look away, make an adjustment. It's kind of like taking an eye test. If you constantly look through the tube while making the adjustments, your eye will physically be adjusting to the focal length and you won't be getting a perfect focus on your reticle. So make sure that you look away, look through it again, and when you look right at the reticle, it is immediately in focus. Your eye does not have to refocus itself. So do that first. Now once you've adjusted your reticle, you can go ahead and aim at your target and adjust the focus, which will either be your side focus knob or in the case of a front focus, so that the target is in perfect clarity. You can also use the graduations on the focusing ring to double check that your distance to your target is proper to make sure that your scope is in perfect focus. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and set your gun on a rest so that you're not physically holding the gun so the gun is supported, whether you're using a bipod or you're using like a rifle stand or sandbags or whatever, but set your gun up so that it's supported and you can move your eye around looking through the scope. If the crosshair starts wandering as your eye is moving, then you know you still have parallax problems 
and you probably want to go again and start looking at your diopter setting because the number one cause for parallax problems is generally settings with the diopter being out of focus. But double check that and then double check your focus. Once you've mastered using that, you generally speaking, you're going to have very few problems with parallax. And, uh, you know, if you're still having problems, then, you know, you need to look elsewhere as to exactly what's causing your inaccuracy. But I have to say, when dealing with telescopic sites, parallax is probably one of the major issues that people have, especially when dealing with cheaper scopes. So it's um, something you're going to want to be concerned with. If you're trying to get your gun more accurate, um, it may be a good idea to go ahead and get a little bit of a better scope on it as well. So I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions about this, feel free to stop into the showroom. We're here most of the time. Be glad to answer any of your questions or get you the kind of equipment that you're looking for. So until next time, don't let the bastards get you down. <laughs>